Hi, Zach here with Phoenix Audio. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, today I'm going to go ahead and run you through a tutorial on how to set up our Stingray DSP mixer. Uh, before I begin to actually jump into the Stingray, I wanted to explain to you the room I'm in and uh, the devices I'm using, uh, and then I will start uh, you know, walking you through how to actually set up the Stingray. So, first of all, the room that I'm in. Uh, this room is a little over 30 feet long and a little over 20 feet wide has about nine foot ceilings. Uh, in our eyes, it is a medium to large size conference room. Uh, the gear that we have in this room is we have two Stingrays that are daisy chained together uh, via cat cable. Uh, in addition to that, we are using our XLR adapter. So we're using that because the mics we are using, which are the Sennheiser uh, MEB 102s, they are these uh, nice little button microphones that you can barely see in the ceiling. They are XLR microphones. Uh, so luckily we have that adapter to make the actual physical install uh, very easy for us. Uh, in addition to that, we have four ceiling speakers. Those are being ran through our power amplifier on the Stingray. And we have a USB cable, which is connected from the Stingray into a mini PC behind this monitor. And that is what is providing us communication for our video conferencing. Now I'm going to share my screen with you and show you one of two ways that you can set up the Stingray. The way that we're going to walk through setting up the Stingray today is through the web GUI, which can be reached through the IP address of the Stingray. The second way that you are able to set up the Stingray is actually through the front panel of the Stingray, and I'll walk you through that tutorial in a little bit here. So what I will do is I will type in the IP address, and it's going to take me to a login page. So from here I log in using username admin and password 1234. This is the admin or the username and the password of every Stingray out of the box. You can change this when you get into the Stingray. So here we are. This is the front page of the Stingray. Uh, first you will notice two different options for us. So we can either go into device setup or we go into SIP client setup. Uh, I'm going to save the SIP client setup for another time. Uh, today we're going to focus on the actual device setup of the Stingray. So here we are. What this will show you is all of your Stingrays that are connected up in that chain, uh, meaning that any Stingrays that you have daisy chained together, no matter what IP address you hit from either any of those Stingrays, it will take you to the full chain. So we have two Stingray set up so you can see a primary and a secondary unit. If you are doing this for the first time out of the box, you will only see one unit. Uh, and you will not be able to make that unit a secondary unit. Uh, something important to mention while we're here, uh, the Stingray does have the ability to do zoning or room combined room split. Uh, so if we did have, let's say, a wall that closed in this room and cut it in half, we would be able to make that second unit a primary unit and create um, a solution for each individual room and as well as a solution for both rooms when they are combined. So cool, easy to use feature that the Stingray has. So let's jump into setting this thing up. So I'm going to click on primary and it's going to bring me to an option where I can enter the device name. Uh, I can set this as a secondary unit as we talked about and I can edit primary parameters. So we will go to primary parameters. This is going to bring us into the front page of actually setting up the Stingray. Uh, we are using ceiling microphones which are mic level microphones so we will choose mic mixer. Uh, you see line mixer over to the right and I'll show you what that is in just a moment but to quickly explain it uh, what this does is we do our beam forming on the mic side of the Stingray if you choose mic mixer so those four microphone inputs and if you have line level microphones like wireless for example and um, you're going to go ahead and use the wireless microphones in a room you would choose line mixer which means we would be doing our beam forming on that side of the Stingray so from here I'm going to actually set up the microphones so I'll click on microphones and what this will show me is how these microphones are picking me up in this room. Uh, to me it looks really good. I like it to come up between 60 to 75 percent and I can just adjust accordingly from here. Um, something to know is you cannot adjust one single microphone differently from the other. Because of our beam forming all of the adjustments will be made across the board. So we're good to go here. We have it at 34 dB. You can adjust accordingly in your own conference room to whatever your preference is. So I'll leave here, um, and from this standpoint, we're done with the microphone setting up. So we're going to move over to speaker. Now, as I told you, in this setup, 
we are using ceiling speakers that are connected into our power amplifier, and here's where I can adjust those speakers. So you can adjust master volume, which adjusts the volume for every single interface. In addition to that, you can actually adjust, adjust individually. So you can see that the Stingray has three interfaces that you can use for communication. You can use USB for video conferencing, you can use SIP for your telephony, and you can use analog for maybe a, a old legacy video codec. Um, and those are the three options that we have. Now, why would we have individual settings for these? It's really quite simple. Uh, sometimes, for example, when people call in on SIP, their voice might be a little bit lower than the person that's using USB. So rather than adjust the master volume and now have the person on the USB video conference call be a little bit too loud, you can adjust it individually and find that sweet spot for all of your calls. So once we do this, we are finished and we will leave this screen. So now our microphones are set up and our speakers are set up. So from here, we're going to go into line level. So as I mentioned before, the, the, the Stingray has four microphone inputs, and in addition to that, it has four unique line inputs. Since we're using this as a mic mixer, we can use those four line inputs for a couple different things. One of those would be a handheld microphone, the other one would be media, and third would just be nothing. So that would be not set. So I'll click on line one. Um, for this one, we're going to set up a podium microphone, so a handheld mic, a lapel mic, or, or an actual you know, podium microphone. So when I click on podium, it's going to give us a few different options. If you are using our internal power amplifier on the Stingray, you can actually adjust the local speaker level to fit your preference. Why would you want to adjust these speakers? If you have somebody speaking at the front of the room and they are a presenter, you may want those two front speakers to be a little bit lower than the two back speakers. So we wanted to give our customers an option to adjust that. So we will say that's what we're doing in this environment. And we will raise the back speakers a little bit more. Secondary level is going to be your voice lift or your sound reinforcement, whatever you call it. Basically, your voice getting played back through the room you're in. So we will say we're going to do that this time. So we would like this at a 16 dB. And this will be the level that my voice is coming out of those internal speakers. And then send out level is my sensitivity to the other side. So once we're done here, once our adjustments are made to where we like them, we can just leave the screen and we're done. And I will go over to line two. So in this room, we actually don't have anything connected to line two. For an example, let's say you do have some type of media, maybe a DVD player or something, you would choose auxiliary and then you would adjust the speakers accordingly. So if you do place a media, how loud do you want that media in the room that you are sitting in? And then how loud do you want that media going to the far end? So we'll adjust them to 20 each and we will call it a day. So from here, you are finished with your install. Uh, you don't have to do this, but you can check line three and line four. These are going to be not set, which is how they come default out of the package. And for all intensive purposes, you are finished setting up your Stingray. While we're on their screen, let me take you through the line mixer. It'll be very, very quick. So for an example, let's say you are using line level microphones. For this example, we'll say you're using wireless microphones. You would, you would set up the Stingray as a line mixer. So now we are doing our beam forming on this side of the Stingray. You would have the exact same speaker settings, so I don't need to dive into that again. And then now, this would look a little bit different. So instead of adjusting all the microphones at once, you would adjust them individually. And let me show you how you do that. I would click on line one, and you're going to see a new option here. You'll have podium, you'll have auxiliary, and you'll have mixer. So for this one, we will choose mixer. You'll see that we have no adjustments we can make. And that's because for the sensitivity on these line level wireless microphones, you're actually going to be using the knob on the receiver where you'll adjust the sensitivity of your mics. So we'll set it as mixer, we'll go into line two, we'll set it as mixer, so on and so forth until we are done with our install. And that's it. Two different ways you can install a Stingray, uh, whether it be a mic mixer or a line mixer, very simple. We got it done in less than five minutes. As you can see, it's extremely easy to set up a Stingray. You do not need to be an audio engineer. It's quick, simple, it's easy, and it works great. If you have any other questions or you're interested in the Stingray, please give us a call, 818-937-4774, and we will be happy to help you out, maybe even get you a demo unit so you can try out the Stingray in your own environment.